clearly we have a big problem with immigration in the United States as our borders are wide open, letting anybody come in. And we're not seeing just families come in. At one point in time, you did. Families would come in, would actually intermingle with society, intermingle with the United States, et cetera. And now suddenly they're American citizens and it's worked very well. Even illegally at that time, we'd see a lot of people doing that, taking some of the jobs that people don't want. But that's not what we're seeing today at all. With our open borders, we're seeing flooding into the United States, countless nationals, military age nationals, we're talking about by the thousands, the hundred thousands, even literally could be in the millions coming to the United States. And of course, we talk about those as far as being, you know, sleeper cells. Are they going to attack? They very well might and actually stage something. This video is going to show you some interesting things that honestly, it may be heading in a different direction, but let's keep keep with the video and you'll see what's what's heading there. But you know, what's what's really made me curious about the whole thing and kind of looking at it differently is, you know, I talk with people all around the world constantly and they send, send me articles telling me what's happening in their country. This is not just a United States thing. And when we think that Biden and all the people pulling the Biden strings are leaving the borders open, oh, it's just them doing that. And you kind of wonder why are they doing it? They're trying to get voters or whatever the reason may be. This is happening everywhere, by the way. And all the people that coincide specifically with like this world order or the WEF, et cetera, are all doing this. We're seeing immigrants flooding into all kinds of countries, not just the United States. And of course, I don't even need to go into detail about this. You'll see right here, an illegal immigrant from Lebanon caught at the border, and he admits his intentions heading for New York with what he was planning on doing. And I cannot say it out loud on YouTube, do you understand? But like I said, the US is struggling. This is a big problem. And now we see countless Haitians coming to Florida, overwhelming Florida. It's a huge, huge problem. And again, it's not simply just people coming in, trying to make a better life. That's how it used to be. No, there's nefarious reasons. And this article specifically is talking about how Europe is dealing with its own influx. Honestly, in reality, it's not dealing with it. Europe's in big, big trouble. Going back to Angela Merkel, Germany, never ending migration crisis. It's huge. And it's interesting how we see this influx of incredible amounts of migrants coming into Germany as the Germany industrial complex is collapsing and they cannot get people to join their military. We're heading in that direction. And in Britain, a huge amount of immigration coming in, record 1.1 million resident visas were granted to non-UK nationals in just in the year up to mid 2022, it's crazy. And with my friends in Britain, they send me video clips all the time of the things that these immigrants are doing coming in. They're taking their jobs, no. And we're talking about violent, violent crimes, raping, causing major problems. Their actions are nefarious. In fact, we often see that if you talk to them, they'll sometimes let the cat out of the bag and say, oh yeah, we're not here for to intermingle with your ways. We're not here to get a job. We're here to basically bring our beliefs and everything we do into your country to change your country. That's Britain. That's the United States too. So from this independent think tank, why Western countries struggle with immigration politics and policies... Over 100 million, 100 million migrants live in more developed regions of the world, including 9 million in Northern Europe, 22 million in Western Europe, and 38 million in the United States. 38 million. And obviously, some of them here are for the good reasons. To become an American citizen, to try to basically intermingle and change their way to the American way of life, the way we've been doing things. But honestly... I would like your opinion on this. I think that's actually far and few between. I think we're looking at much less are doing that and much more are trying to change America into what they want, even violently. So I'm going to go to this website. I was just here a couple of days ago. Interesting. The Selective Service, where we're talking about, there is a conscription coming. I love how they word this. Almost all male U.S. citizens and male immigrants who are 18 through 25 are required to register with Selective Service. Very, very interesting, isn't it? I was just on this website. I didn't see that a few days ago. And I'm not saying it's changed, mind you, because even when I was in the military, I was naive. You know, I was a wet behind the ears, young kid going in the military and starting to see the world. And I was actually amazed and surprised and kind of really thought it was cool that we would often have like Mexican-Americans in our unit. They would actually be with us and I would talk with them. They would speak English just fine. And I would simply just think they were actually American citizens and they weren't. They weren't American citizens at all. And they were saying, oh, no, they came in and there's, there was prerequisites for them, prerequisites. They had to like have a high school diploma. They had to be a certain age. They had to be, be able to speak English, et cetera. 
And they said, oh, yeah, our plans are to become American citizens someday, and we want to basically serve the country that we're coming into. I became very good friends with lots of these guys. It was fantastic. But as we're seeing the United States, as we're seeing Germany in the same situation, as we're seeing Europe overall heading into what looks like to be World War III, major, major conflicts, it's interesting how all these countries have, on the most part, one thing in common. We don't have the manpower to be able to fit that billet unless we look at immigration. And it's interesting because on this channel, whenever I talk about how they're going to be starting the draft again, which I believe they will be, I get comments all the time saying, why don't we take some of those illegal immigrants and put them in the military? And I think that's their idea. I think that's the plan. I mean, in our minds, we may think, oh, look, that's perfect. Come in our country, we'll put you in the military, everything's all happy. But remember, many, if not most of these migrants coming in are not just regular family men. Look at this video clip real quick. This is the most popular migrant shelter where all of these men come once they come into New York City. There are hundreds upon thousands of men. After 30 days, they will no longer be able to be housed. They will be put out on the streets, homeless. Migrant families will not be treated the same way as these migrant men. Migrant families will be able to reapply. After 30 days, they'll be able to reapply for a different shelter. So all these men that you see around here don't need that. are soon to be let out on the streets in New York City and homeless. And what they said, why did Joe Biden let us come in if he's not going to allow us to work? Someone said that to me today because these men are not allowed to work. They don't have work permits and they're basically just stuck hanging out here. We're not seeing families here. The families are given a place to live, but the non-family members, the, the men only, soon will be out on the streets. Homeless? Oh, poor homeless. No, that's not the point. Homeless leads to desperation, which leads to violence, which leads to, I wonder if they're really trying to take a lot of these people who really don't have the United States in their first mind anyway, and now putting them in the military. Think about this. And here's where we're getting into. And I want you to understand the problem is this. If we get to a point where martial law happens in the United States overall, for whatever reason, really think about this, everybody. And now we've actually indoctrinated, indoctrinated tens of thousands of illegal immigrants in, into our military who are not American citizens, who are not here for America. Think about this. What does martial law do? It often suspends habeas corpus. It often puts it into the point where now the courts are not basically operating. The civilian courts are, courts are not operating, but now military courts are. And people say all the time, you know what, this is really simple and easy to understand. If we ever see American soldiers on American soil trying to basically work for the government in these acts and such, oh, that'll never happen because Americans will never fire on Americans. It's probably true. In fact, I think it's very true. However, these illeg illegal immigrants coming in who don't really have America to be able to begin with in their minds are more than happy to. Look at this last article. So this is a little bit ago, Associated Press, join the military become a U.S. citizen, Uncle Sam wants you, and vu, and tu. They want the immigrants coming in to become military members. And this says it right here, struggling to overcome recruiting shortfalls, the Army and the Air Force have bolstered their marketing to entice legal residents to enlist, putting out pamphlets, working social media, et cetera, et cetera. And I think that's great. That's exactly the same plan that I had when I was in the military and befriended a lot of people who were not American citizens, outstanding. But what's going to happen when America's backed into a corner, when Germany is backed into a corner, when Britain's backed into a corner, all these countries who have allowed, for some reason, to allow all these immigrants to come in and we're trying to get people for the military, that very well may be where the draft starts. And honestly, you may be thinking that might be good. You know what? Start with them as far as they want to be American citizens for dra draft those illegal immigrants. But I'm going to end with this. Do you really think those illegal immigrants really have your concern in mind or mine? Are they really here for the United States? Are they really here for the people of the United States? I don't think so. And now suddenly we have them in our ranks carrying weapons. And if martial law does incur on our streets, that's something we need to think about and prepare for because this very well could be a huge mess coming our way.